W Wilbur, the candidate you support, Donald Trump, has alleged uh, that this Fed is holding back from raising interest rates out of, um, well, because of a political conspiracy um, to try and favor the Obama administration and support a Clinton campaign. Do you agree? Well, I have no idea what the motivation of the individual Fed governors may be. A substantial minority of them, as you know, have been in favor of increases already. My focus is not so much on their motivation, but on their inactivity. And I think that is a problem. There's no question in my mind that the main thing that the low rates has done is boost asset prices and increase inequality in the country. I don't think those are particularly useful objectives in any event. So I really think their policy is misguided, whether it's based on their own economic views, whether it's based on politics, whatever it's based on, I think they're plain wrong. So there's monetary policy, and of course, then there's fiscal policy, which is what the Fed has been trying to push onto policymakers on the political side. Uh, and of course, taxes comes to play, and that is the big one when it comes to this election. Right, and Wilbur, you've been talking about taxes this morning. Donald Trump wants to um, raise the tax on carried interest. Um, it, it was unclear, I guess, to some people or to some extent, but he's long uh, been in favor of this. Uh, he does want to cut taxes on LLCs and partnerships. The way um, it comes across is that he wants to almost uh, punish successful people in finance for their success during life and then allow them to more easily pass on wealth when they're finished working. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Well, I don't think he's punishing people. Carried interest, of which I've been a good long-term beneficiary, is a very good business, regardless of whether the tax rate is as beneficial as it had been or when it goes to the 33%. Because Donald has personally assured me that I will no longer be able to get capital gains treatment and will not be able to get the 15% treatment on my carried interest, that I will have to pay the 33% marginal rate. Um, as to the death tax, it seems to me it's bad enough if you have to die, you shouldn't be fined for doing so. I think it's a wrong concept, and it's simply a populist anti-wealth concept of Hillary Clinton's. It also doesn't raise that much money in the overall scheme of things. But what it will do is it will be punitive to the millions of family-owned businesses whose net worth now is mainly in post-tax earnings, earnings on which they've already paid tax. Now they're going to have a big tax again, and undoubtedly it will force the liquidation of many family businesses. Uh, and those are the ones that really create the jobs.